The coast of Normandy is famed for many quiet towns so popular for summer vacations by the sea. One is Fécon, a fishing port that played an important part in early Norman history and during the French and English wars. The small town nestles in a valley between high cliffs and around a well-protected harbor. Attracting many visitors annually is the 1,000-year-old Benedictine monastery and the modern buildings where the liqueur, originated by the monks, is distilled. Quiet atmosphere and invigorating climate make Bacon a pleasant retreat for a restful and healthful sojourn by the sea. distant, situated at the base of stately cliffs, is a small village named Ipor, the few inhabitants of which derive their livelihood from summer visitors and year-round following of the sea. Once a year, the entire population joins in a picturesque and unique ceremony of blessing of the sea, in thanksgiving to Providence for the waters which contribute so much to their happiness and life. Throughout Normandy, one of the richest agricultural regions of France, are many neat farmyard enclosures, surrounded by well-trimmed trees and well-kept fields. Situated on the right bank of the River Seine is Rouen, principal city of Normandy, and once capital of the Ducal Kingdom, but now of the Department of the Lower Seine. Though 80 miles from the mouth of the river, Rouen is one of the most important ports of the country, for through it passes more freight than through any other port of France. An unusual transportation bridge spans the river between the ocean steamer caves. The tall towers and cross supports, from which are suspended the cables of the moving car, allow unrestricted movement of large ships at all times. Rouen, richest of all French cities in medieval architecture, has great appeal to all, for here occurred one of the most tragic episodes in history, the burning of Joan of Arc as a witch. Some of the ancient and picturesque houses have been demolished for necessary development of the city. Many stand and are still in use today. An old, famous, yet busy shopping thoroughfare leading to the cathedral is the Street of the Big Clock, so called from the 14th century giant clock that spans it. The cathedral dates from the 13th century, but the cornerstone of the first church on this site 
was laid in the year 400 AD. The tower of Saint Roman on the left is the oldest part of the cathedral. The tower on the right is known as the Tower of Putta and derives its name from having been erected with offerings of the devout for indulgences to eat butter during Lent. The many old buildings and houses which surround the cathedral prevent a proper perspective of the entire structure, and only from a distance can the 465-foot tower and the massive proportions be clearly seen and appreciated. Other graceful towers, not so high, are those of saint Trin, one of the most beautiful Gothic churches in existence with tradition dating the erection of the first church on this site in 399 A.D. In the square beside the church is a statue of Napoleon, standing before what was formerly the dormitory of the Abbey of saint Prince, but which is today the Hotel de Ville or City Hall. The beautiful Gothic Palace of Justice The Chateau of Rouen is famous in history as the scene of the imprisonment and trial of Joan of Arc. All that remains of the ancient castle is the Tower Dungeon, and though never occupied by her, it bears the name Tour Jeanne d'Arc. The upper portion has been restored and to it a roof added. In the old marketplace, still in use, a statue of the 19-year-old sainted martyr overlooks a raised stone plaque that marks the legendary site of the burning in 1431 of the immortal Maid of Orleans. Along the banks of the River Seine, which pursues a winding course through a considerable area of fertile Normandy, are many famous landmarks, vivid reminders of events in history. At Les Andelys is the Chateau Gaillard, built in 1196 by Richard the Lionhearted, who commanded the river at this turn and collected tolls from all passing ships. The far-reaching waterways of France are used not only for carrying a major portion of all freight, but also by thousands of water lovers who spend pleasant summer months in houseboats and smaller craft, gliding past beautiful scenery and historic sites. A typical old Norman town of the Middle Ages, Lisieux, has recently become a place of particular interest. Among its attractions are the 12th century cathedral and an ancient pharmacy. Clumsy, yet picturesque horse-drawn carts make their way slowly over the cobbled pavements of the many narrow crooked streets, with ancient buildings that so appeal to all lovers of the past. Curios and carvings are displayed for the tourists and pilgrims who come to Lisieux in ever-increasing numbers to visit the grave of Saint Therese, at which numerous miracles are said to have taken place. A magnificent new basilica has been built and dedicated to the young saint, whose tomb in the future may be one of the holiest shrines of the Roman Catholic faith. 